Hey guys, welcome to a new video. In this video, I'm gonna be trying something a little bit different. I'm gonna be making my first bullet journal spread for the month of July. And um, I got this Archer and Olive bullet journal back in January and I have been using it um, almost every day to track my things to do and notes and business ideas and painting ideas and all that kind of stuff but it's not in a very pretty or aesthetic kind of way and um, I'll do a flip through of that one day but um, I've been watching a lot of Cheyenne Barton and Jenny Journals and Mary Berry Studio and I really love how they do their bullet journaling so I decided to try the kind of aesthetic bullet journaling style out so, um, something that I really need to work on, and I'll have fun practicing I think, is calligraphy. Because as you can see, I wrote July there, and it's not very fancy. <laughs> um, it's just some chunky block letters. Back in um, university, I took illustration and design. I never finished um, due to some issues with anxiety and mental illness, but that's a whole other topic for another day. <laughs> but um, I did take a typography class in um, the program, and it was one of my worst classes because um, when it comes to like design and typography, I'm a total, total noob. Like, illustration and drawing, I've been doing my whole life. But when it comes to design stuff, like, I'm just, I can definitely appreciate great design, but I don't know, it doesn't come easy to me. So, um, it's definitely something I wanna practice. And I really had a lot of fun putting this spread together. So I think it's something that I would enjoy um, to continue doing. Um, I guess after this spread, I'm going to have to work on the weekly spread. I'm not sure how I'm going to do that. And I want to include a little bit of journaling each day, but not a whole lot is going on with the whole quarantine slash COVID situation. So I don't know how much, how much there will be to journal. But um, yeah, what you're seeing on the screen right now is three photos that I took and then the other one, um, the sunset over, um, or it might be a moon, I'm not sure, um, over Stonehenge. I got that off of Pinterest and um, I have um, all my boards on Pinterest and I'll link it below so you can see, um, you can search for any photos that I've used on there and find the creators on there. And, um, yeah, so, uh, I personally don't mind if you use my paintings or images from images you find on the web to, um, include in your personal work, personal journals, all that kind of stuff, as long as you're not, um, making, like, prints of it to sell or products to sell of it, it's fine. So I think it's okay to use, um, photos you find on the internet. It's kind of like the new age magazines um, yeah it's okay to use those I think it's okay to use those in your um, art journaling bullet journaling projects as long as you're not making any money so um, I tried rearranging all the elements on the page several times and I just I had a hard time figuring out which element looked best in which place and I really wanted to include that good vibes um, cutout thing, paper cutout thing, but I just wasn't sure how to do it and I never actually did include it. But um, those stickers down at the bottom there of those three uh, girls, they're by Joy San. She's um, a studio vlog artist on YouTube and I wanted to give the theme of this page kind of a witchy solstice -y theme even though I think the solstice was in June, but I'm really like attracted to witchy kind of things. And so I definitely, it's definitely something I wanna learn more about because um, those kind of elements appear in my illustrations, paintings, and I think uh, I want it to appear in my bullet journaling too and art journaling and writing and everything. And so I've saved a whole bunch of like witchy resources on my Pinterest boards. 
So if you're ever um, interested in some of that stuff, check it out because I found some great things that I want to dive into. And um, there's really a huge bunch of like resources on Pinterest to do with witchy stuff. And oh, I had this idea today that because I kind of want to do like a book of shadows kind of theme with this maybe too, where it's like my exploration into like everything magic and all that kind of stuff. So um, I was thinking I might do like a page for different goddesses and um, write like descriptions of their stories and their um, ele like qualities and all that kind of stuff. Because I was reading one about Hecate and she just sounds so like, so cool. <laughs> And so um, I was thinking, you know, I already have an illustration of her and so I could take a print of that and just stick it in my bullet journal and then write out her description and stuff. And But for the others, I would draw them each and then stick them in my journal. So I thought that might be pretty cool. So um, what am I doing now? Okay, so... I wrote um, a numbered list, which is my calendar for the month, where I can write out um, different events that are going to happen, and um, there isn't really much happening yet in this month for me. One of my best friends, um, it's her birthday, and then there's Canada Day and Independence Day, but I don't know how many people are going to be out celebrating with friends and family since um, most of us are trying to stay you know, inside and in small groups. So yeah, that's a shame because those are always really fun days. So right now I'm writing out my reminders and I got this idea from Cheyenne Barton and it's basically from what I could see about writing out positive mes messages to yourself and affirmations, hopes for the present, hopes for the future and all sorts of lovely things. And those stickers that I'm using, um, they're from Amanda from All J Art, and she has the cutest little stickers, and I thought the colors went really well with my spread, and I thought they'd be cute. And um, I really love that tiny washi tape that I used. They're so fun, I have a few of them, and um, they just add some extra texture to everything, I think. And I had a lot of fun adding in these um, kind of golden yellow flowers and um, I ended up doodling over them a bit um, to add some more interest. And I was thinking they would make really cute stickers if I ever uh, start making like stationary stickers and bullet journaling stuff. Something like, like a sheet of those would be really fun. surprised by how much I had to write down. I did have to pause and think a few times, but it was kind of like a stream of consciousness of like positivity and hopes for the future and the present and um, kind of just uh, willing my dreams to come true. Kind of like the secret, if you guys have ever heard of that. So... I think it's really valuable and I definitely want to do um, some more stream of consciousness positivity writing because um, an artist I follow, she's really successful and um, like in her business and she says that she writes every morning, um, like I think she writes two pages every morning of positive affirmations and um, uh, plans for the future and how thankful she is and gratitude and all that good stuff and so that's something that I really want to 
try doing. I don't know if I can fill two pages <laughs> worth of that, but um, I'd like to write something positive every day if I can manage that. pretty much filling up all the blank spaces with stars, moons, twinkles, and all the magic stuff I can think of. And um, I do end up adding one more picture, and of course it's of Hun Bun, my baby kitten. She's not really a baby or a kitten, but she always will be in my heart. <laughs> and you'll probably see her a lot in my studio vlogs. But there she is on one of my sketchbooks. Just sitting there, like, uh, giving it her approval. <laughs> guys here's the finished spread it's on an angle so you can see how the gold in the washi tape and the jelly roll um, glistens and shines and um, I had so much fun making this spread and I definitely want to try it again in the future I have plans to buy some more bullet journaling supplies and general journaling supplies so hopefully that'll help um, make the spreads even more interesting and fun so yeah, thank you for watching. See you in the next one.